it's fine. All right, here we are. We are online, bro. Say something. I'll, uh, all right. No, not that. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Uh, I oh, always wanted oh, you to be on my show, Kit. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh, your show. Yeah. We were on shows, and then we just kind of had worms. <laughs> Gross, Kit. Gross. <laughs> uh, okay. Why are you telling everyone this? <laughs> uh, if they want, they can go to your channel and watch us have worms. No. <laughs> Not better. Uh, what's the combine? The uh, G. If you select everything and hit G. Okay. 13 cars, 13 cars, 13 cars. There. Okay, cool. So we got all the suits. I wonder... Wow, okay. Whew. I wish it would... I wish it actually did have, like, a setback to normal state, but I guess it's fine. We can spawn additional decks. That's true. For... Okay. Maybe. Oh, okay. I, I really meant, um, like, have it ordered. But anyway, so I'll spawn some dice. Oh, yeah. Uh... Okay, we'll need some coins. Those dice are really ugly. Do they have any better dice? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Here. Let me just... Um, uh, let's see. A chrome D6. Okay. Got some weight to them. I mean, they also have white plastic dice that we can color as we want. Interesting. Um... I want, ooh, yeah, poker chips. No, oh, they have coins if you want. Yeah, I was looking at the coins. Oh my god, you're so much faster than me. I'm such an old man. <laughs> I was looking at the coins. <laughs> yeah, uh, they only um, had quarters, right? That's what was confusing. Oh yeah. Um, Come on, guys. We play... also they have bags that if you add something to them, they infinitely spawn that item. <laughs> yes, that's so genius. Always handy. Yeah, I love it. This this is a really well designed. Uh, not that we're like you know advertising this tabletop simulator, but I love it to death. <laughs> I do love it. Uh, okay, we can use checkers. Those are, yeah, yeah, they'll be fine. Um, yeah, so no, we may amazing. need these checkers at some point. Yeah, those okay. dice are pretty cool. Those dice are pretty cool. Okay. Okay, and we're I gonna think... need like a note card. <clears throat> so yeah, we, yeah, we can some... do that. Or I guess I can probably keep it in like. Can't you spawn your own personal notes? But of course, there's like a to notebook to tab at the top. Others. Oh yeah, great. A note card is just what I needed. Okay. Yeah, and this is editable if you um right click on it and. Okay, you there. Or note card. Maybe right not. Click. Maybe like no right click name field description field yeah so at the bottom of the context menu is the name and description and uh -huh. you just fill that out so you just fill out the description okay yeah so and it'll it. change it uh all right so what do I want here so this is like character's name below that is interesting. <laughs> What is that? Is that a jukebox? <laughs> oh my god. You're such a digital DM. Well, welcome to uh, Raw Badass Skill Demo and uh, <laughs> Philip Learns Tabletop Simulator. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's just look at that for now. Hold on. <laughs> that is <laughs> okay. actually awesome. If you want something else, that'll blow your mind off the top of hand, off hand. No, not the top of my hand, off my mind. And my mind is on my hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, a fully functional tablet. <laughs> wow, okay. I saw that in the tools thing and discarded it as cray. No, no, no. We could probably act, if you're streaming this, we could probably watch the stream on this. <laughs> that is even nuttier, because then we'd have to listen to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but God, can you imagine the quality? 
Okay, so let me. I got my documentation uh, open here. Yeah, but do you have multiple monitors? No, I actually don't. Right? Oh, lame. Shameful, I know. At, at, work, I have, at work, I use three at all times. Yes, excellent. Um, I have two computers at work and two monitors for each. Oh, it's, they're both laptops, so an extra monitor for each. Okay, we're going to test out the beginning of my new survey style. I want you to imagine like a fourth grade survey with like, <laughs> here we go, kids. Fill out this questionnaire to set up your story. Just circle the number one to five that you think represents you, with one being the least. <laughs> yep. It five is. Five being the most. Okay, so um, the first question then, let's see, because we've got, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Uh, yeah, here's what we got. What are two major themes that your story revolves around besides challenge and change? Oh, I like that limiter. Um, hmm, two major themes. Let's see what's on my deck. Desk. Let's deck. spawn in one more note card and we'll record our answers. Boop. Nice. So I can write on it while you want to do it. Or okay. do you want to do like, I mean, I've been thinking about my sci-fi novel, so I've got a lot of that in my head. Oh, uh, if you want. Um, I was about to say ornithopters. <laughs> yes, ornithopters. Not bad <laughs> either. Uh, and that is a shout out to dad who just got me a build your own ornithopter uh, kit for my birthday. Oh my goodness. And then, so ornithopters, skies, uh, and let's say, um, how about, uh, I, I, I really love a space Hulk theme. So let's do abandoned sky barges. <laughs> okay. Okay. So two themes for an abandoned, okay, this is going to abandoned sky barge story all right and um two themes yeah what's the next one um so <clears throat> so that's no those aren't actually themes <laughs> oh, <laughs> but um, it's a beautiful sentiment uh and i'm recording <laughs> it so uh, uh, uh so to say machines <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ornithopter was a theme but you really went with it which was very beautiful and i would like okay. to keep that uh okay. so um, you got, yeah i'll let you choose the other theme then i i'm done. all right all right so, uh, all right so i have abandoned sky barge story and it's going to be ornithopters and um what do I really want to talk about? Or like, what what story? Oh, I was watching Black Sails about pirates, and I think pirates. Ooh, <laughs> sky pirates and pirates. Good, good. Not um, a bad combination. No, so that is great. And Give it another cool. couple of themes, and we'll have a, a a Ghibli movie. Yeah, yeah, this is fantastic. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna put this over here um and all right actually since they'll be looking from my perspective i'm gonna actually i'm gonna yeah, no, yeah, everything. No. you you go ahead and bias everything towards you i'm fine with okay. that okay scoot over a little bit oh Let's whoa see. yeah no, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah 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 share share with the viewer <laughs> no no <laughs> no <laughs> yes 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 that was the best thing ever all right <laughs> oh no i wrote this wrong because it needs to be okay jesus <laughs> i need theme one how many um poker chips will we actually need uh probably that many exactly <laughs> okay cool just um, wondering okay so here's where we're at Theme one, ornithopters. Theme two, pirates. Okay, so uh, what... Nice. What... That's a very serious question, Kit. Which <laughs> suit best represents ornithopters? Um, let's say spades, because they got a lot of surface area. I was like, yeah, I see. I like the wings. I yeah, like see. it actually looks like an ornithopter. Like, well, that's actually, fine. I would say the club 
looks most oh. like a weird flying machine if I had to Actually, guess. that's true. It's true. I like that. Let's do a club. But then there's, like, stars for the sky. I, you know. Uh, and... No, no. Okay, okay. Uh, the stars can be uh, jewels that the pirates covet. it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So then we will take clubs to be... Uh, can you record that? Just put a dash after the ornithopter. You can you can write on that card, right? Yeah. And just put clubs. All right, so then what best represents pirates? I feel like diamonds... Really I, I was thinking diamonds and yeah. they're jewels. Okay, great. Let the streams show. I said pirates sound like jewels, man. They do. They do. Okay, I want all these things a little over to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Them too. I like it. Okay, so um, then we're going to have Survey says. more. Basically, there are two themes built into every game. Of ah, oh, thank God this is a good text editor. I was like real afraid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two themes are always the same. Um, one is challenge and one is change. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, interesting. The this challenge is. deck spades is a good kind of generic challenge deck to me. The challenge deck is the the deck of cards that represent the threats to the story and the characters. Um, Spades is always pretty commanding, I feel like. Yeah, I, I feel like that, yeah. All right, so uh, could you put Spades for the challenge uh, theme? And then that would make Hearts the change theme. And that makes sense as well, because hard to change and all that. Yeah, yeah. I think it is also, uh, I think those are the defaults. I tried to make sure that if someone wanted to play, they didn't have to work too hard. That's fair. Oh, I love that they fall down. It's so awesome. Okay. So, first thing to do, we need to flip uh, these. So, these two decks we chose in the center uh, that we're working with are the two themes that you picked for your story. Uh, yeah. Every story has two themes because that's about how many cards you need to tell, like, a story in a couple hours. Um, you know, like, one for a two-chapter, four-scene story. And we'll talk about how to get there. But, basically, um, it would take a long... You'd be playing for more than six hours or something if you needed more than one deck of cards to do this. Um, so, whenever you see a card of this suit... Um, the ones you've associated with your themes, it's going to mean um, that you interpret it through the lens of that theme. So, for example, um, reading the cards, is, it's kind of like storytelling tarot is what it seems like. I hope that's not rude um, to claim. But you basically are turning over a tableau of cards and interpreting them to help you have cues on how to tell the story. So, like... The number cards are kind of like non, non-person, non-entity <coughs> events. I like to think of them as circumstances. So when I flip over the the three of diamonds, and since I picked diamonds to be uh, pirates, I would think, what is a, what what is what ha what kind of happening is like a three out of ten in the pirate lifestyle? Like, um, <laughs> you know, like if. If for me, that would be like, oh, I sprained my ankle, <laughs> or, like, my friend has a new parrot, I feel like, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, All that's, right. you know, a 3 out of 10 in the pirate life. Okay, so then, yeah. if this card comes out of the story deck, and so these first two themes go into your story deck, uh, you, if, could you record that on the paper? Or, yeah. Record which specifically? Uh, never, never mind, it'll be fine. We got it. Yeah. Themes yeah, 1 and recorded. 2 make up the story deck. And you'll be drawing from that to help keep yourself associated with the story you, you decided to tell. Um, it keeps you like on track so you don't wander afar. Most everything that happens has to do with these cards. All right. So um, 
right off the bat, we need to pick one from each. This is the, on the only time you'll pull these cards before they're shuffled together. Um, so Kit, would you flip over one of these decks with me and then shuffle it? R. Yeah. R. Okay. And then pull a card down and flip it. Okay, great. And then these two <laughs> can be shuffled together. Um, and that is your story deck. So the story deck you'll want nearby for everyone. And I'm going to start laying out the, the like tableau here. So this is the part where you start to make like a trail, like a little graph of your, your story to keep so that everyone can look at it. It's like your reference. It's like what happened, like the chapter name. It's like the chapter title and the scene title. So um, what we have here is the whole, what it, we, we're having an abandoned sky barge story, but what is the biggest issue? What needs to be solved? What is the, the original problem? This tells us whatever's at the top and the left is most the biggest reason things are happening. So we're going to make a story goal. Um, and what is the tiniest of ornithopters? Is it like the... <laughs> the, 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 like an aircraft carrier of ornithopters like uh, i i think yeah i think the, it's the, right in the title the is like you know world? sky barge yeah okay so like the abandoned sky barge is what like a planet that is an ornithopter like I whoa just... <laughs> buddy yeah blow my mind it's a 10 okay what's the 10 out of 10 of ornithopters uh hmm, or is you know, it like I we're think... gonna go bar yeah uh, I think, you know, uh, let's see, pirates and sky barges, let's just go ahead and throw a little fantasy in there, and let's say it's, like, made out of something fantastic, Whoa. like mithril and dragon skin, or something like that. Whoa. Um, okay. So. Uh, and, like, it's legendary. It's a legendary ornithopter. Okay, so we're coming up with a story goal, and these are our cues. So the 10 out of 10 of ornithopteriness has something to do with our goal. Are we like harvesting asteroids in our ornithopter <laughs> robot? Uh, I don't know. What's going uh, on? Well, who's to say that we actually have it? It might be a quest to find it. Oh, well, oh, you mean like find the perfect ornithopter? Find this legendary ornithopter that like stories have been told about for who knows how long. Okay, okay. And is it like, it's like the best ship in the ocean? Yeah. Kind of? Best ship in the ocean, sky, maybe space. Sky. Okay. Oh, treasure planet. Oh, mom would be Yo, so proud. Oh, treasure planet. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I've never heard the abandoned sky barge story before. It's a brand <laughs> new type of story you'll not hear anywhere else, I tell you. Nowhere else. <laughs> okay. So, story goal. <laughs> um, okay. So, then what is the four of... Um, Pirates, pirates look like so it's it's oh it's like God, not it very piratey it's it's <laughs> less than half full pirate you know 40 percent um i know uh uh hmm. we need new mates on board the yeah oh yeah like bringing new crew mates new crew members or fit, okay. fitting into the crew hmm i have hmm. been watching black sails like i told you <laughs> uh or what about something more interesting what's what's cooler but still kind of a four what do pirates need pirates need what? We're running the pirate bar. Like, pirates come into our ornithopter uh, bar. The pirate barkeep. Oh, yeah, like okay. Okay. So, we're, we're, yeah, what do you think? Is that too. No, no, no. I like it. I like it. It's fresh. It's okay. Fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. All right. Pirate bartender, or, yeah, bartenders at the pirate bars in Ornithopter City. So, maybe we're, we're just, this is where we started. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's where we start. Yeah, and we're a, a pirate this bar. Come on, yeah, it's the pirate version of you all meet in an oh, inn. Oh, maybe we want to start our own pirate bar. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, okay. so yeah, so yeah. we're trying to start a pirate bar. <laughs> Done. Um, that is our story goal. Um, found a pirate bar. It's <laughs> found is so awkward it's it's fine it's fine okay story goal boom um do these things get longer if you type down no they actually do not oh what all right well we can spawn more i know it's a pain okay 
so that is the story goal. That's what we're going to be working towards. And when you think of a chapter, uh, the chapter is the next piece of structure in this whole tableau. Uh, think of the big steps we need to found a pirate bar. So, you know, if you could break up founding a pirate bar into, and we need to keep it short, so we're only going to do two chapters. Um, what okay. would, uh, what would that first, or what would those chapters look like? Would it be like, um, whoa, weird. One of my cats just kicked off this, my Hulu, and a terrifying <laughs> anime started playing behind me. <laughs> okay, we're, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. The anime yeah. was Angels of Death for anyone who is inconvenienced and cares. Uh, <laughs> so um oh god now what was i saying it was uh chapters. why why what are we doing yeah okay chapter goal chapter one goal <clears throat> so uh what we want here is if we're only going to take two steps and that's going to be the end then what are those two steps um well first we got to establish a bar and then we got to draw interest Okay, is is that what it, founding a pirate bar? So it's like sim pirate bar, not like we were <coughs> looking for the perfect ornithopter to start our pirate bar in. Did I say that out loud? Because that's that's what I meant to suggest. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, how big a ornithopter are we talking? Yeah, perhaps we're gonna be like the I don't know the uh, uh, what is that aircraft carrier like the big one? The They're Nimitz, all, huh? The Nimitz. <laughs> it's just cool, Something. Uncle David. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go check your tablet. <laughs> uh, anyway, the alleyway. No, damn it. Now I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> um, what if what if the bar itself was just called the legendary ornithopter? <laughs> oh, my God. So we're, are we... Did, <laughs> No, we have to stick to our goal. We can't, we can't change the whole thing down. We're looking okay. for the best ornithopter in the world to found a pirate bar. So okay. obviously we have to find the best ornithopter in which to have the pirate bar. Okay, okay. And is it like an abandoned relic that's empty and out in the jungle and we're going to have to do safari our way to it? Or is it more well, like, I... uh, let's just find someone who'd let us build a small house inside the flying machine? <laughs> And make it the legendary. And yeah, and bar. swab the decks while we. I mean, that's less exciting. You see, where I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, from. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my original thought was we were going to go uh, sky barge spelunking and find it based on oh, stories. Oh, we could be that we might have heard in a bar. We could be trying to build our own. Like we could work yeah. at a ornithopter building uh, ornithopter. What if we were actually thinking, okay, no one's going to actually ever find this legendary ornithopter, so we should just go sneak on to one of those big-ass boats um, in the sky and, like, just crash one and say we were, like, attacked and this is the legendary ornithopter, but it's fucked up now, so we got to uh, build a bar instead. <laughs> Do you think we can fool these high-tech ornithopter engineers? <laughs> uh, if the crash is spectacular enough. All right, look. No, you're too far afield, sir. <laughs> we already wrote down found a pirate bar. You cannot reshape the story now. So if okay, we're going to found fine. a pirate bar, we have to one blank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So suppose it is only, yes, it's only two steps. Step one would be get a place. Bars need to be in places. So let's say yeah. we need to find the perfect you know, tavern-sized ornithopter, legendary. <laughs> Maybe it's a puppet. Maybe it's like a theater. Like it's an inner... some. Oh, um. Maybe it's an automated theater ornithopter. Done. Automated theater. Find okay. the... the And it's called the... Uh, come on, so, something bobbly. Bobbly? It's called the bobble. The bobble. Find yes. The, the bobble. The greatest have entertainment adjective. ornithopter ever created. <laughs> yeah. uh, spot another one of those note cards. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Copy. Yeah, nice. Wait, not a copy. What is this gross lettering on this one? 
Now, oh, first yeah, of all. No, I got it. Boop. Okay, actually, I'll just. Oh, whoops. Okay. Was it chapter goals? What that was? Chapter goal. Actually, I think I erased it. Yeah, yeah. The chapter goal. Find the, Find the bobble. Oh, come on, you gotta have an adjective in there, like uh, the, the black the... pearl, or the, oh. the the hidden bobble. The, the um, hmm, no, it does have to be. Uh, the. Find the the shy. The priceless bobble, and we're going. Oh, nice, good, good. Okay, sweet, sweet. You win. <laughs> okay, so that's chapter one. Yeah, it's got to be chapter one. And um, because we're gonna have more chapters, so we better. Yeah, I got it. Boom. Oh, Save nice. this in space. Nice. Perfect. Oh, you erased it again. No. <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I just put the I put the the title up. Oh, top. maybe it's lag. Okay. So anyway, so chapter goal, first chapter. We are looking at. We're dealing with whoa. All <laughs> oh, right, some some tough cards in there. Okay, first so thing. these cards. Um, <coughs> so if these top two, the highest ranking, are the story goal, and they're there to remind us what the story goal is all about, so we can check back. Um, oh wait, no, they should be separate, my bad. Uh, these chapter cards are to <clears throat> give us a sense of what we're trying to do in the next level down, which is the scene. And the scene doesn't have to be named, but it still gets some story, some cards of its own. Okay, so the chapter we already figured out was to find the priceless bauble. And the two cards we see here are two of the name cards. I call them name cards, ace, king, queen, jack, the ones you'd expect, the face cards and the ace. Because each of them represents a named entity in the, the story. Where if the number cards are all events or circumstances or like problems that are all generic, then each of these things can have a name. Um, so the way I thought about it was uh, aces and jacks represent the highest and lowest of the name cards and those seemed less personable than like the king and queen so they represent the highest skill level and then being a servant <clears throat> so if an ace a named ace is kind of like a character with an incredible skill like they're just absolutely the best at something and the jack would be like a character who represents something else like a herald or a newspaper uh article writer or you know a newspaper itself if it was a story about feuding newspapers and the newspapers were actually the characters um the king and queen represent um power in the case of the king i know it's stereotypical but i assumed it was what's easiest to remember and knowledge in the face of in the queen's card so um it's someone the king is someone who commands a a um controlling effect they, they can do something or they're like the head of the fbi or something is a is a good example Whereas the queen would represent someone who <clears throat> understood something to such a degree that it was incredibly important uh, or had some secret information or, or some the knowledge that will change what would happen. And the king is more like something to be concerned about. <laughs> All right. So what we have here is uh, like two most like the best skill and the strongest personality from the pirates so oh, i don't boy. like a pirate king and their assassin or it could even be one creature like it could be the pirate uh, king is you know the, the, the pirate the, king assassin yeah the, saying. <laughs> the assassin of pirate kings <laughs> you wanted to or it could be like the praetorian <laughs> guards or the, you know like oh, if, my if you're God. the pirate leader then and you don't do a good job then they come and murder you off that's pretty piratical yeah that's that's pretty rough okay so let's say there is a pirate assassin of kings in the story is it one entity you could couldn't handle that 
It was just going to be upside down when you typed on it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that would be bad. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, no, well, yeah. So they, they should probably be separate. So we'll say the the Pirate King and the most skilled, well, it could be, like, the most skilled captain, like, the best pilot. Yeah, I was thinking, like, the ace is usually, like, a free spirit guy who yeah. is It doesn't the have best to be guy. deadly. No, yeah. Or it could be, like, um, the best map maker. Huh? Maybe. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Cartographers are, uh, are yes, highly desired. Yeah, Especially so. So let's say, let's say it's so. Um, the, so what is the king? Is the king funding this? Are we like an, oh, oh. We got the king of pirates to fund uh -huh our expedition out to find the priceless bobble so that we could found a pirate bar it's not like we'll be able to pay him back eventually he won't mind yeah. if we hijack his map making expedition to go find <laughs> our priceless bobble yeah yeah okay that, all right yeah. yeah are you confident with this because i think we'll win i yeah yeah i'm sure the king of pirates and uh yeah we'll no problem so um that's uh that's how that's how find the priceless bobble is working out um <laughs> the king of pirates oh here i guess i'll write that underneath yeah um so it's map making expedition funded by pirate king Oh no, there's a capital A in there. Well, I'm, okay. Anyway, um, and so then, so okay, so that's that's where we are in the middle of the story, and there's gonna be another chapter after this, and then of course another scene. We're gonna do one scene per chapter, but I think a like uh, two a three hour session is a, kind of the ideal, I think, for role players. Um, maybe two. I don't know. Maybe that's just <laughs> us super hardcore nerds back in high school. Um, where it was like, you know, I was like 12 when I was 14. <laughs> but, um, anyway, uh, I think two chapters with two scenes each, about four scenes total is like, uh, an easy game to finish per... in like two hours. It's about yeah, a half hour per, per scene, or I think it's like five minutes per turn. So it depends on how many players is kind of my yeah. estimate uh, anyway um this would be quick if i would just go on about it uh, no no it's fine this is your demo it's okay yeah yeah well it's, it's gonna be forever it, uh okay <laughs> anyway whatever it's fun <laughs> i was yeah. just recording this for laughs but i like treating it like a show okay <laughs> so um here on the eight of clubs uh, which is, oh yeah, Ornithopters. Okay, here we are. So, in this scene, and this is the only scene of this chapter, so it's half the story right here is going to be our two turns. It's going to go quick. I forget how. <coughs> anyway, so, um, oh my god, it's the most, something super important in the world of Ornithopters, that would be the eight, and someone who knows so much about Ornithopters. That's the queen. So and so, so like, yeah. someone actually spots it, right? They're yeah, like, yeah, a My clue God. is what I was thinking. A what? A clue or some lead. No, yeah, it has to be, like, you have to think bigger. This is the thing. Like, we got two chapters. It's only going to be four turns long. Half okay, the fair. game. Uh, so, yeah. Someone is flying it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's still flying. What if it's automated? Oh, Ooh. we're storming the robot fortress. Yeah. And uh, the queen is maybe a uh, lead engineer. Yeah, yeah. So the head engineer is trying to figure out how to approach it. So what's the problem with approaching it? Uh, uh, automated defenses. Duh. Oh, yeah. Duh, duh. You like, oh, yeah. That's why we're pirates. We have weapons and stuff. Maybe we steal from <laughs> robots. Oh, my goodness. That's yes. so good. We don't actually Excellent. pirate other humans. We're pirating the robots to build our scavenger. We have the pirates who don't steal from oh anybody. This God. is going back to that third grade. Yeah, this is uh, definitely the best virtual game you'll never get to play. <laughs> okay, so um, could you record on the next note card? Uh, okay. That uh, the 
chapter two goal is um, that we are capturing the priceless bobble. Look. Oh, it's beautiful. We already, we already completed our chapter one goal. Oh, no, that's the, uh, oh, my bad. It's actually supposed to be uh, scene one goal. Here, I got it. Yeah, okay. I told you wrong. I was I was wondering. I was just like, oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, scene okay. one goal. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing when we roll our dice. Oh, you made one of my big, cool. you monster. <laughs> I was so every like minute or so I just reached over there and made it a little bit bigger and you never noticed. <laughs> okay. So, um we haven't even gotten to how the game works, but whatever. It will be short, only four turns. Okay, so let's talk about the change deck. Let's see. So this is a story deck and we're going to guard it over here. No, I forget. When I turn them, it's not nearly as cool as when you turn them in real life. <laughs> Okay, so up here we've got the change deck, and you can flip that over and shuffle it. The change deck represents, uh, so at the, I believe at the beginning of every player's turn, you'll take one card off the top of the change deck, flip it, and great. Um, any cards that are out and face up that have the same value, in this case, any tens, get get turned uh oh um and get inverted and a or a, no twisted that's the word yes um okay so your card gets twisted and it um then represents a inverse of what it originally meant so we're looking for the best ornithopter to found a pirate bar and this tin comes out and it twists all the tins on the board and if i had any tins in my area it would get tw uh twisted too and suddenly it's not that we're finding the pirate bar it's that like the pirate bar is finding us or it's um <laughs> the lack of 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 the, oh the priceless bobble doesn't exist it was a trap or it's actually just trash yeah or it's oh. not even good at all no way i like yours better because you know uh pirates are still a nuisance because maybe all the shipping lanes are by automated barges oh. and so while now the admiralty has been trying to hunt us down by spreading a legend of a great Oh, Ornithop it's a trap. And it was a trap all along. All along. All to make uh, the pirates come to them. So obviously what's going to happen is we're going to turn the Admiralty's flagship into our new pirate <laughs> bar. And we'll get all the business in the world. Little did they know. Yes, the Priceless Bobble is a hulked out Admiralty warship. <laughs> and it's not just automated defenses we're dealing with. It's like all the worst. Full compliment yeah yeah it's uh it's it's okay so it's a full-on pirate ship on ship capital ship naval battle of some sort. i was about to say so now the now the two chapters have turned into uh, it's like chapter one board chapter two overtake and crash <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah we'll have to do something with it okay yeah. so we don't have to crash it we'll be kings man if you're who like, who the doesn't who want captures the naval's <laughs> the biggest ship you're like gods among men already he and then we retire. <laughs> We've reached epic level so fast. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, so um, now we've got... Actually, I do need dice that are, are brighter. Uh, ah. These dark ones won't... They'll, these Dude. just won't do. These trash dice. Um, <laughs> okay, they don't color well either, so we'll see. Uh, and I love... Yeah, I'll, I'll take the bright pink ones. No. I can't have your bright pink one. Oh. Anyway. Um, you get blue boy. Okay, but bigger was a good idea. Bigger, How do I bigger. scale them up? Right click, oh, scale. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa. Stop, 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 guys. Jeez, jeez. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I gotta kill these ones. Yep. You fool. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, we know what we're doing in our first scene already. Boom. Um, what we need to do... Are you tying my dice down? <laughs> no, no, of course not. You're flicking my... No, no. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we have to... All right, let's name our characters on your note card. On I already named my name, character. Name it. So I am going to name mine... Um, Oh, Margaret, Marguerite. Oh, that's right. We should probably do pirate names. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh. And... <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> It's fine. It's got a U in it. Uh, no, you just stole mom's character's name. Wait, no, her name was Ra. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Come on. It. Uh... What is this? <laughs> or it's like great minds think alike. But last <laughs> time I play tested this with you and mom, that was like her name. Hi, was... <laughs> Thumper. Done. Okay. So, um,. Where you wrote level, actually replace that with um, your profession or skill set, like what you are, your, mm -hmm. your, um, y you know, the thing that you do. Um, like I could be a cook or I could be a locksmith. Or you could be some very sort of criminal or a super soldier. <clears throat> or you could just be really happy. But whatever it is, it is, you know, kind of like what you do. Like, you could look after people, or you could be in charge of a dorm. Like, it's the same interpretation, I suppose. I don't know. If you have a profession, record it. Mostly it'll be like, people will know you as High Thumper the, whoa, stunt pilot. <laughs> stunt pilot. Okay. Stunt pilot is fine. So you're you're a pirate stunt pilot, and then who else would want to have a bar, um, Marguerite? Well, I have okay. So I'm gonna be the um, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a pirate. Hmm. No, that won't do. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to be a pirate assassin who needs Whoa. some cover from my previous employers and decided that getting some fool to start a bar with me would work. <clears throat> That's fair. Okay, so then uh, let's just do it on the next level. On the next level, uh, oh yeah, I, sh I gotta move down. I keep forgetting the, oh no, they do stick to your screen. Wow. Oh, okay, all right, fine, fine. The what? Um, sorry, I was wrestling with the the, the UI. <clears throat> All right. Again. So, um, on the next level down, although I do want to... Oh, it sucks this isn't real paper. Okay, whatever. Space out really far in the same line. And then three strengths you have. Like, whenever you tackle adversity, <coughs> these are the three things that come up. Like... I am an assassin, so, and a lot of people love being sneaky or stealthy, so I'm sneaky. Something you obviously need when mm -hmm. dealing with pirate ships. So I'm sneaky. Um, another thing I would always be doing, and that's um, <clears throat> paralyzing people. I'm paralyzing. Oh. Uh. And uh, because I don't like to kill people, I'm not that kind of an assassin, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really more like an... No, no, I am that kind of assassin. I... <laughs> Gee, just... I just nah. like to paralyze pe most people so that I only have to kill the ones I need to kill, right? And then mm. the rest wake okay. up and then we're good. And then so the last thing, if I'm sneaky and paralyzing, I also am... Um, uh, bejeweled. Yeah, right? Uh, put it on a different line. Yeah, yeah. 
I really, <coughs> I really confuse this poor AI. Not AI. Okay, anyway, yeah, fine. Oops. Ah, perfect. Okay. So here I am. I am sneaky, paralyzing, and bejeweled. And, ooh, almost spelled it right. <laughs> I hope. Okay. <clears throat> so that's me. Um, Still working on it. Yeah, you got it. It is, it is a bit tough. You can shorten your name. You are uh, um. a stunt pilot. Or, I mean, you can shorten the words. Like, if you took out looking to retire, although I love that. Well, Actually, I'll just one be of your abilities Walmart. could be retiring. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about that. It's yeah, like, it's mm. perfect. It's perfect. So any three words will do. The basic ones, I suggest, the original name for the game, and I keep flip-flopping on what to actually call it, but was it, the original three stats were raw, badass, and skill. Because I thought raw sounded powerful, badass sounded tough, like defensive-y. And skill was just like, you were super good. And I thought that was like, that's like my D&D &D version. Like the generic version of the game. You're just raw, badass, and skill. And you just roll through your adventure like a rock star. Um, but then we branched out to include any kind of theme. And it was like, raw, badass, and skill weren't working. So it was like, wait, I don't know. Why, why not? Since everyone has their own interpretation of what raw meant, or what badass meant, or what skill meant, or didn't even know, I was like, pick your own word. So here, uh, you just make up your own words. And if you can't think of any, you just leave raw, badass, or skill right there. Okay, no. so uh, what are your three words? Give me a second. Former stunt pilot. Yeah, it's my new... It's my new... Uh, I'm just going to take to the next line. That is such a okay. long name. Come on, shorten that. What? My, no, my name is High Thumper. My job is former stunt pilot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you're going to need... This needs to take up one line. So, uh, afraid I can't do that, Governor. <laughs> yeah, it's a super Done. long name. No, Sold. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, former stunt pilot. I would suggest shortening it to that, or just stunt pilot. Period. No, no, no. I'm former. I, I am past all my glory okay. days. Well, then, just former pilot will do. That's fair. You'll just remember your stunt anyway, and take off ornithopter. Oh, I see. I see. Just leave handling. Handling will be fine. The more specific you are, the more you're limiting yourself. I think I, yeah, but if I really want to try to, like, s like just swerve in how Ornithopter handling can help me in a gunfight. <laughs> I'm sure you will anyway. You'll <laughs> but don't... Fair, fair. <laughs> All right. Go so ahead. Your skills are handling, bartending, and McGuffery. No, McGuffery is Mac not even a word. Oh, MacGyver. MacGyvering. Oh. Mm. You're just reading it upside down. <laughs> I am. It's hard. Um, uh, if, you, if you mouse over something and hit Alt, it pops up a bigger version of it on your screen. Oh, my goodness. You poor viewers. Anyway, <laughs> um, put those on one line. Everything fits on one line. Uh, why don't and I that'll be fine. <sighs> Just put in like three or four spaces. That's all I did. It's not too hard. There you go. <clears throat> okay. So, um, the next thing underneath that. Oh, mm -hmm. oh can I? Oh, I wish no. I could do that. Okay. Anyway, um, on the next line. You're going to be level, and it's going to be, let's, let's assume we're pretty good. Put 10 points into three skills, or what I should say is, yeah, yeah, anyway, you have 10 points. You need to split it three ways, because we are level 7. Do you want to explain that? Um, <clears throat> okay, so basically, let's start at level one. I guess I should explain it. If, <laughs> really if you want this to be a demo. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, it's super hard to see, so. My god. <laughs> that didn't turn out at all. <laughs> <laughs> This, the UI is not helping me. No. Uh oh, you meant. Okay, suppose you have this. <laughs> uh, this is why this stupid note card. Anyway, <clears throat> you're level one and you start off with one in every one of your stats. So when you roll, you always roll three dice. What do I just. Nice. You roll. What? What? 
they just <laughs> what happened you, you glued my dice together <laughs> what are these, i don't want these trash dice what is this nonsense here you can have yes mine. okay great great you, you give me such he gets me trick dice what is this nonsense okay oh uh three different colors please uh so grab two more cards okay what anyway flip them all you stay off of these Le le well it okay can you duplicate those for yourself okay let's take one die and let's just go red green and brown that's uh it's teal the color of the ocean red as the shirt that you'll be wearing and brown as the pants you'll be wearing <laughs> no thank you oh my goodness <laughs> that was way too i can't believe dear viewers <laughs> <laughs> my brother's sense of humor is not mine own i promise well okay okay uh, so obviously yeah so <clears throat> if red is red isn't my sneaky color that doesn't make any sense obviously blue dark blue is my sneaky color paralyzing i'll be red and then bejeweled is always green so i'll roll these dice is it rolling them as one so i'll roll them oh i love it and then i'll Good add my bonus down here and that will be my <clears throat> my uh, strength so the higher that is the better so when you level up and so we i said we leave you level seven you can add six points across these three fields. Oh no, let's do a need more interesting. We'll be level eight. So every time you level up, you can increase one of your stats by one. Uh, and level one, you have one in every stat. So it's basically whatever level you are plus two is how many points you'll have. Okay, so, oh God, this UI. Well, it just wasn't meant for this. No, it was, it was probably not. It's not the writing game. Or there's a notebook. I think there's a notebook feature that makes this. Yeah, at the top of the screen. Mm, that also. I should, you know what we can do to make it uh, even better? So I'm going to be. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, that turned out. Almost. No, it didn't. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so it's much easier on note cards. Yes, what notebook? Hmm. I'll use this next time, I think. Or what? What other? Is there more than this note card? Um, I didn't look. If you guided me astray, I blame you. I well, I mean, not much better. Cards. I... Uh, where is note card even? It's under uh, miscellaneous so tools. Tools, I think. Yeah. Oh. I don't even see that. Tools? It's at the bottom of components. Hmm. Components, tools. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, well, what else? Anyway, <clears throat> here we go. I hope. Um, so I'll be like, oh God, we're level, whatever. We'll level be level 10. Eight. Level All 10 right. means you have. So the, the three ones plus 10 to wherever. Oh no, eight was better. Damn it. Okay. Oh, it's so, it's so hard to believe. There. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that happened. Okay. So, um, at level eight, we have 10 skill points. So I'm gonna go five. Oh no, that's too strong. I'm gonna go four. You're killing me, five. What? This is the hardest thing to do in the world. And three.
and that's seven, and then three. Wow. Okay. Wow. wow. That was impossibly hard. <laughs> and I, uh, n yeah, anyway, sorry, dear viewer. I, I, it looks impressively good for being so horrifically hard to do. Um, anyway, so um, every time you act, you'll add these um, numbers to your die rolls, and it's best to know what your dice are in advance. If you only have one color of die, you can just say for whichever one's farthest to the left, whichever one's in the middle, and whichever one was on the right. Or if you roll them and they wind up like this, it could be whichever one's furthest from you to whichever one's closest to you. Anyway, just find an order and agree to it beforehand so you, you get the most out of the randomization. Um, and then just roll them in order. So, for example, my I'll take the first action since, you know, I'm the one talking about what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, I, des I designed a game. It would be unfair to make you take the first action, which I haven't explained yet. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, so Marguerite's first turn. Um, so we're only going to do one thing this whole scene. Oh, no, we'll, we'll take... One each or two, two each. Yeah, we'll take two actions each. Um, uh, what's your time like? I don't know. I don't care. All right, I'm I fine. Okay, so we'll do two actions each. Mom would love this. Uh, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, there's only going to be two actions, and that's all that happens in, happens in capturing the priceless bobble. So, you know, we got to make it good. Every action has to has to move a lot of story ground. Um, and then the success of that is going to be told by this last suit of cards, right? Um, over here, the spades represent uh, challenge. Uh, and the challenge deck... <coughs> is the one that players have to interpret uh, the dangers they're up against from. Uh, so I'll show you how it works. But every time you take an action, I'm going to move my stuff over here. Every time you take an action, um, three challenge cards will come out. And you'll have to compare your character stats to those. And the dice are going to get added to your stats to help out. So um, my first action is, and so if you get, you need three number cards. If you get face cards out, then there are special conditions added to the fight. Um, so the spades just represent challenges. And it's up to you to figure out what each one means. Um, remember that the highest number is a 10 and the lowest is a 2. So the 1, if you think about everything as being a X out of 10, like, oh, here, this is a 6 out of 10 of dangers. And I know that we're capturing the priceless bobble. So what's like, what's a 6 out of 10 danger it would be? It's like, I don't know, like falling off the ship. Maybe it's not that dangerous because we've all got like glidey suits and there are updrafts all over the place. So we can like fly back onto our ships, right? Obviously. So this might represent, oh, I fell off, or I'm in danger of falling off, or, oh, we're diving onto it from above. That's what I think is going on here. Yeah, okay. Um, and then, uh, so, you know, whatever. That's what it would be if, if I jumped off. Um, so here I've got 2 plus 4, um, 6 versus 6. So if it's a tie, um, I think... It's fine if players decide if they win or lose themselves or if it's a draw. Um, so players, you have, you're very empowered here if you want to play. Um, if you tie, then you can choose to win or you could choose to lose or you could choose to draw and have neither win or lose. Um, here in the middle, I've got a 5 plus a 3, so that's 8 versus this five, which means that I would get a success. And when you get a success, it means that um, a detail uh, of the story goes in your favor. Um, so some beneficial detail uh, occurs 
due to whatever your aspect is. So these words up here are your aspects. Oh, no, styles, I decided styles was better. And then so over here, I've got three plus two is five, which beats three. So I got two successes and then I got a wild um, for getting a draw. And since my action was, normally I would have announced what I was doing, but I wanted to explain the mechanics. Um, the first thing you would do, I probably before you even flip these over, is say, all right, my character, so we just found the priceless bobble. It's a massive warship instead of the, the juicy, like, oh, maybe we agreed with our captain. We're like, oh, captain, we don't want a pirate anymore. We want to start a bar. And we told him that if we could catch the fanciest ship on the ocean, he could have whatever is inside it and we could have the ship. No, okay. right, genius. That's also what we told the king of pirates. <laughs> oh, the king of pirates. He thinks we're like going on a map making expedition, but oh, oh, solid, solid. Yeah, yeah, right. He his cartographer is actually someone we should keep alive, and I think should join our business. Maybe the the money. Oh yeah, a map making business yeah, in a bar. Yeah, he could be our Christless. Oh yeah, we could make maps and and be found our pirate. But amazing. Yes. Doing good. the world a service one beer at a time. Okay. <laughs> So, crack, um, crack. so I am leading the pirate assassin strike team over the edge of our ship, which has a higher ground because we're ambushing them because we're pirates. Um, and I'm skydiving onto the priceless bobbles deck with my assassins. Oh, it's a night. It's a night mission. We're going to stealth in because otherwise we wouldn't be able to poison every paralyze the crew and then throw them out or whatever. Ransom nice. them off, obviously. Um, so I'm, re I'm le leading that mission. Uh, and here are my results. Um, so versus the six, I am sneaky. So then the six lines up with sneaky. So here I am. Um, I guess you could read it this way it would be probably most easy to understand see pe some people are just so much more visually intelligent than i am okay so a six of sneaky and i tied it let's say something goes a little wrong um oh no actually let me demo one of the rules so if you get all three successes th then you get a critical success and you can use that to either level up or um, to create any object or superpower in the story for yourself. I know, they both sound wonderful. So if you level up, you get one point to one of your stats. And if you pick a, um, an aspect, then you get something that you can use that'll make your dice rolls better. Um, so for now, I'm actually gonna go with three wins. So since this is a draw and I get to choose how draws go, I'm gonna say three successes. Everything went perfectly. We skydive down. I've got a team of like, I don't know, do you wanna be on my team? Uh, I figure I might do something different. Okay, all right. So you've got your own role to play in this. Um, I, We are sneaky as, as ninjas, us, uh, let's say three pirate ninjas and we're moving in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna poison their wa water barrel obviously a water in hole we're gonna poison the um the the priceless bobbles water with paralyzing poison obviously because that's my preference um and then we're gonna ransom them off and that's gonna or we're gonna some of them, we might interview them you know be like you know how embarrassing it is to have lost uh the the, pri the most, most powerful tried. warship in yeah, all yeah. of the admiralty to like three pirate thieves do you want to yeah, join yeah. my bar <laughs> <laughs> um and then okay so over here also i succeed on bejeweled um so we're, yeah we're we're paralyzing the water hole and you can assume that it's like a time lapse photo to the next day oh, well i don't know i forget what your turn is but anyway yeah, yeah. anyway it's it totally paralyzed like an eight versus a five Psh, yeah that's awesome and then lastly bejeweled um so a three and a two is five for me versus three for the card so i get a success so something else good some other beneficial detail about our story and you know you, you could hold off if you want and like maybe you could like reserve 
uh, successes, so after everyone else is done, so you can tie it in better. Oh, interesting thought. Okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, so... Because well, if you want to do something else with that, not immediately before I get I uh, say my piece, then you can hold on to that and put that in at the end. Okay, that is interesting. So, oh, no, no. These cards actually have to go back into the deck for your turn. Oh, that's fair. Well, okay. I mean, you beat it. So that's yeah, fine. yeah. So I crushed it. And then so the bejeweledness I need to tell now before I forget. Basically, um... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, oh. Why do you have stones in your skin? Uh, well, yeah. The jewel assassin. <laughs> no, too shiny for an assassin. Oh, that would oh. that's the worst. That would be the worst if I were some sparkly. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I'm like a super sparkly elf, and like actually like glitter in the moonlight, which is of course the best time to be assassinating. And I was rejected from my family for being too bright. Um, I'm like I'm a special. My only magic is that I glow, but like my assassin family cast me out, and so I have to go around wrapped up in cloth all the time, and I float around in my monk like suit, like I'm an avatar, um, <laughs> and just wear rags. And under that, everyone thinks like I'm like a leper or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's just me. Uh, so um, I'm into gaudy jewelry because it matches my glitter, really sets it off, right? <laughs> and uh, so I'm also snagging a uh, the perfect uh, tiara, <laughs> or I love from tiaras. the admiral's wife. I thought tiaras. Oh yes, I'm I'm snagging all of her jewelry um, on my way and. <laughs> Five out of three. She actually didn't have the good stuff, so it wasn't too hard. But uh, I still got some choice pieces, like a nice choker. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. No, All right, yeah. so that was me. Is there a way to combine these? Group? What do you mean? Yeah. Okay, so we'll drop that back in here. Yep. So you got all three successes. What does that mean? So that means I get a critical success and either the lowest level player. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, so ooh, very nice. Very nice, sir. You're welcome. Let's put that above. Let's, oops. Let's throw that in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, um, then that means that one of us can level up or I can gain an item. And I'm just going to gain an item. Um, so you get an aspect, and it'll be anything you could use. Superman's heat vision. It's something specific that really makes you strong. I mean, for, like, Scooby-Doo, it could be, like, his ter his terrified yowling. Or, like, for Shaggy, it could be that he was high. Um <laughs> And for me, for my pirate, my paralyzing pirate assassin, it's gonna be my um, uh, I don't trust Magic this jewel. UI at all. Yeah, no, it's gonna be. Why is that so horrible? <laughs> okay, this one's gonna be my slow berries. Slow berries. Yeah, I'm kind of like a a you know a lowland assassin uh -huh. so yeah. slow berries are these things i carry around that i make my paralyzing poisons out of mm -hmm. but i always prefer to use the raw thing because i don't want to hurt people so bad like the mm -hmm. slow berry like causes them to so i'm always slipping slow berries into people's food or whatever and then i've got my really paralyzing stuff hidden away somewhere else so mostly i try and be as humane as possible when assassinating mm -hmm. okay okay um, Slow berries, huh? And so, it's yeah. So, whenever oh, yeah. you use your um, your slow berries, what was the actual rule <laughs> that I decided on? I mean, whenever you use your item, you get um, a free reroll. Yeah. And um, later on, you can upgrade your item. So every time you gain a level, so now my level changed. I don't even understand how that works. Um, <laughs> uh, 
it's because my, I care, have more power now. I could have raised one of my stats. That would have been simple and easy, and I'd just be more sneaking or paralyzing or bejeweled. But instead, I opted to get something interesting, the slow berries. I can use those to get a reroll. Whoa, too bright. Interesting. Um, okay, so um, now it is your action. Do you know what you're going to do? We are capturing the priceless bobble. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so this the scene is. Uh, I'm gonna put out the you can put it over there. there. Uh, it's fine. Well, okay. Yeah, it should be near your character sheet. That's fine. All right. So we we are making an insertion on the priceless bobble. You are handling the people elements, mm -hmm. and I am handling the ship elements by getting the lead engineer on. Oh, oh, their because lead engineer. Because part of our, ours. Oh, yeah, yeah, our her. Leader. I forgot about her. Yeah. Yeah, so eight was it's a trap. Can you the name the queen? These? Is the lead engineer? Yeah. Like, uh, how about you said it was a she? Yeah, let's go with that. I want her name to be Annie Oakley. <laughs> 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 but I can hold off. Uh, Annie, damn you, tree names. Annie Birch. <laughs> And she is the uh, ornithopter lead engineer. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, you have to think of the uh, yeah cartographer. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, so that was my action so this last row so it's story goals chapter goals scene goals and then there's my action wherein um yeah this got twisted because the change card came out yeah okay so then kit it is your team yeah you go for it so you draw yeah. one of the change cards so greedy and then you flip it Oh. Okay, so um, all aces twist. So, oh, the cartographer, the cartographer was in the Admiralty. Oh, snap. And was stealing the Pirate King's money. And this whole thing was a farce from the get-go. We're going to look like heroes because we're not the ones who are really betraying him. This guy <laughs> Does that make oh, sense? Wait. That sounds yes. right. Yes, like, yeah, that sounds good. I like it. Um, and I just named it. Uh, that was stupid. Okay, and twisted. Got it. All, All right. right. So, um, so then, uh, it is your turn. Move your card over to this area. Can you see it when I highlight it? Yeah, interesting. Uh, no, I did not highlight it. No, I mean, no, you do not share highlights. Okay, so. Matching your own perception of these cards. So this one's what? The left? Handling, much. yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll flip each of these. Oh. Oh, okay. So the ace means that, and here, he wrote it down for us. Challenge with an ace. Have the highest single result. So you can get a critical success and you can level up if you get <laughs> three successes. Or if you have one of these other, one of the name cards pops up then there's a special opportunity and you take it off to the side and you pick a new one. I just did that too. Yeah. Um, so the ace is out. You can put it over there as like a special condition. So if he gets the highest single result, then he'll get a critical success. And if the story has the highest result, that is the highest result is this nine, then um, there's a critical failure and something bad happens. He gets, he gets hurt. Or, or okay. yeah, we, yeah, some we'll, kind of we'll, we'll get to that, yeah. So, all right, all now, right, roll your dice. Oh, god, a bunch of high rollers here. Yeah, usually you roll beforehand, but you know, all right, so what color are your dice? How are you going to sort your dice? They're uh, they're named. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, my god, they are named. What? I named yours too. Oh, thank you. Okay, so You're welcome. it looks like you did well in handling. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Did you pull it out? Okay. That was rough. Yeah, yeah. I failed my bartending skills. <laughs> oh, weak sauce. I mean, it's I not know. your strongest ad. It's, you know. Yeah. Okay. okay that's, a, that's a shame. 
So, so I see, yeah, from left to right, explain, and you're left. Yeah. Okay, so um, I was in charge of. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, that, oh, that was God. a four. Oh, that was a four. Here, here, here we go. Um, so yeah, I was in charge of the team that was taking out the ship systems itself because it's automated remember yeah yeah um, yeah for uh, however that works and so we needed the lead engineer on the ground just in case uh someone managed to slip by your mass paralysis of the entire ship oh yeah sure sure or like you know it's automated systems you got to take care of that so while you were taking care of that poisoning the waters uh the yeah, ship's water the supply. soldiers out or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Crew. I was on the way to the command cr uh, room with the engineer, and um, she's kind of a badass, so she didn't really need me for like any action. Uh huh. Uh, she she can handle that herself. Um, but so. Oh, is that start... her? Is this her involvement? Uh, yeah. Let's say that. Okay. Okay. So he's I interpreting like this special condition as a fact that the Annie Birch is coming along with him i like it well it's more like i'm going along with her um, oh, oh okay okay so that's the whole point yeah this is his secret yeah, yeah. because as as i'm like mm -hmm. a stunt i'm a former or you know we're looking to be a former stunt pilot i was in charge of uh oh, approaching see. out of the uh out of the sun as it were but in this see. case it's uh all right all right so get to your different. stats stats so okay that's okay okay I got a nine in handling versus an eight. So you had a five uh, in your stat, you rolled four in your dice, and then yep. it's versus so an I, eight. So I managed to overcome this, uh, this uh, let's say, inclement weather, because um, it's a night insertion, uh, mm -hmm, can't really mm -hmm. see much, it might be a little cloudy, <laughs> da, 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 da. I but I overcome freezing. it. <laughs> anyway. Are we not doing that? Um, that's fine. I managed to... Uh, to take the uh, stealth ornithopter in just okay. fine. Okay. Um. And, but uh, along the way, I start telling her about my ideas for a pirate <laughs> bar. Uh huh. And she's like, "Oh, what kind of drinks you gonna make?" And <laughs> all I could sputter out was, "Uh, grog." Grog. <laughs> that is pretty late. And she was entirely unimpressed. 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 <laughs> rest okay um it's gonna be then, good later on it'll be revealed that your idea was to be the first craft brewery among pirates <laughs> but all you could say was beer <laughs> 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 amazing tell, here, listen tell me like, more okay 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 uh and then uh and then for uh macgyvering um so you know making things up on the fly that's a that's a uh, action as a verb now Mm -hmm. um, so we approach the control room. She's mostly in charge of everything, um, and I am terrible in a fight. Uh, so she was. Uh, there was actually a couple people in the control room who had not been paralyzed, uh -huh. and we had to deal with, um, because you know strict security measures and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they drink beer. Yeah. They were cheating. They drank only whiskey and never water. Yeah, yeah, that's what the control room is like. Yeah. Um, and so obviously, I, welcome I, to the penthouse. <laughs> I, and actually, I tied them. Uh, so I, mm, I'm trying to figure out how to like come up with a draw scenario there. A draw um, here. So okay, so you were okay. So you come up into the control room when MacGyver. So he uses what is at hand to accomplish something just beyond belief that's right <laughs> yeah yeah um so like what do you find in the control room or like on ornithopters or military ships um like an emp bomb or something like an emergency shutdown <laughs> switch actually yeah 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 okay so you know control room uh since it's automation they got some kind of security system that goes off mm -hmm. um because of our scuffle with the uh the leftover controller mm -hmm. um okay, okay yeah yeah and so um they one of them actually like lands on a control panel and pushes something that should be pushed and like the piece pops off and like falls into a little grill oh, oh um I see. and the so the tragic just, like disaster yeah, rolled under the table or whatever and the engineer's just like all right i'm gonna deal with these guys <laughs> you gotta get that piece and so to macgyver it i find a stick 
<laughs> and I take no, you my were doing belt. So well. <laughs> you were doing, I was so in there. I'm like, yes. I'm like, he's gonna use magnetic string from his. I don't know. Arrow okay. Kai, no, it's a stick. It's a oh, stick. Continue. From my what do you do with the here? stick? I fish under the table. <laughs> I fish around in the vent. <laughs> and yeah, it works out. And, and I pull out. out. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's a draw. It's a, oh, draw. It's a draw. And so while I'm trying to, I'm just no down there way. fishing around for it. The engineer actually like finishes up and she looks, she's like, oh, it fell out the other side of the table. And she picks it up and sticks it back on the control panel. Oh, just You <laughs> fish it through the vent. It's just like this disaster <laughs> of you like fumbling it with your stick <laughs> through this pipe out to where she is. And you're like, but it worked out in the end. So it it's not a failure. Out. Okay. Okay. So not a success, not a failure, but everything returns to the state it was. <laughs> but see, yeah, the alarm was set off because you distracted her for a key moment with your bartending <laughs> my terrible bartending you're like knowledge. what beer and she turns to look at you and then that's when the guard strikes and pulls the lever <laughs> you tell a stupid joke or it's not even a joke you still tell the stupid truth i'm just bad <laughs> okay, okay okay there's an ace here um and yeah. so the highest value was a nine but i got two of them and the others and the uh ch nope not that deck no oh thank you thank you bad Ooh, good grab. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, you can be in charge of that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I had two nines, so I'm going to claim victory on that critical success. Okay. So, yeah. So you claim victory. Actually, highest single result didn't happen. It was a tie. So it Yeah, actually... but I got two of them. I got two nines. Oh, two nines. Oh, yes, of course. I think in that, that should case, count. In that case, I believe the player is is absolutely correct <laughs> it sounds much better than one nine i can't see how you yes. can lose. okay so that makes perfect sense all um, right so i get a critical success so you get a, um, and so i'm level nine so you have to level up because you are the lowest level character so that's it's always true. the lowest and if it's a tie then whoever is doing the leveling up gets to choose which includes choosing themselves yeah and um in my level up i will also choose a uh item an item. It, oh, it I should edit be... this and say reroll. Oh, that kills me. <laughs> okay, so slow berries, reroll. Um, but of course, you have to explain how the berry happened if you want your reroll. Yeah, yeah, you got you got to make it relevant. Okay, so then that was your action, which was to come in. Take out the control center. Yeah, 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 gain control of the ship. So I I stunned them and you took over. Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> that uh that was great. Um <laughs> the it is now chapter 2. Chapter 2. So yeah, because like we don't have time. You would do multiple scenes in a chapter if you had more time. Um and the more people you have, I don't know, sometimes you want a scene to go really fast. You're like, what do you guys feel like? And they're like, one action each this time, it's a fight, we're just gonna end it. <laughs> like, I don't know how much or the other time you're like, we're navigating we're we're observing the beauty of the natural world and it's like watching that Earth D V D set and you're like, This scene <laughs> will be seven actions long and we're just gonna <laughs> slowly float down the Mississippi. <laughs> um so uh, here we have chapter two. All right. It looks like the nine of diamonds, which is pirates. So, whoa, it's almost the best pirate thing ever. Um, a nine out of 10 on the scale of pirates. <laughs> the mm. pirate scale. So like the king has been around. So it would have to be that it's loaded with treasure or it produces treasure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, one, it obviously has already a fantastic bar. <laughs> and it's basically like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Or if we take this thing, is the king going to turn on us? Oh, no, he just I... wants his map. Oh, but <laughs> it's a total betrayal. <laughs> it's a total betrayal oh no oh yeah we didn't we didn't explain that anywhere in there uh i took i mean yeah. i mean oh oh i see well yeah we didn't actually use that particular twist oh yeah oh so another thing i want to put out was hey what's up um you busy no 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 what's up oh okay no, okay no. um so it should have done this uh at during every scene 
a um, I put a token out. This is something I'm trying out. One of my new rules. And okay. if anyone rolls doubles, it moves that amount. So if you roll two threes, you move it three dice, and it goes to the right, and then down to the next line, and then to the right. And if there are more cards out, it would keep going. But it just goes to the end of the line and then down to the next, like you're reading. Um, and it starts out on the first thing, and it's an affiliation or a tilt, meaning that this card is influencing that card. Oh, no, this is it. So we'd start them out here, and then you can move whichever one you like, however many spaces you've got. And you can change oh. how these cards are related. So this represents like a faction or a relation. And if you roll triples, you add another like black token. Oh, God. And then all those cards are related. And during each scene, this color can move. Next scene, it's going to be a different color. Uh, okay. Oh, like chapter. Oh, yeah. yeah, but the first two start up here. So, like, during this whole chapter, I should, I so if I'd done this earlier, it would have been we have to think about how um, there's some sort of faction that's interested in these or controls these. So it's like, oh, the Admiralty would have been the perfect one. So, like, we, the Admiralty and our bar were <laughs> related. <laughs> um, our desire to have a bar. Oh, we wanted the bar to be in an Admiralty ship. Oh, so yep, obviously yep. we have to fight the Admiralty for it. And let's suppose I had rolled doubles. I don't think either of us did, did we? No. Um, so if we had rolled, like, if I'd rolled, uh, how, can I change it to a specific number? Yeah, right-click and then uh, rotational value. Rotational? Oh, I see. A rotation value. Yeah. yeah, so if I'd rolled two fives, then I would have taken whichever one of these I wanted and moved it five spaces. So let's see. And then if, like, suddenly it wouldn't be our... Oh, so I like our bar the best, so I'm going to move this one five. And you skip over the one that already has the puck on it. One, two, three, four, five. Um, was that there? No, that wouldn't even been there. Oh, it would go all the way... Oh, there's only five cards. Whatever. No, it can't be... No, it can't be on that one. <clears throat> so... <laughs> well, that's a waste. Let's see. One, two, three, four... No! <laughs> it's terrible. Well, that's why it didn't happen anyway. Suppose yeah. it was two. In this case, it would be the fact that the Admiralty and the King are connected now, and we have to consider that connection. Or, or this wasn't quite the Admiralty. This was the perfect, or, oh, the priceless bobble. Um, the lie. Maybe the King knew and was trying to kill us off. Because uh, we knew. He, he thought we were stealing his prize cartographer, <laughs> when yeah. in fact the cartographer himself was. Oh, yeah. He thought we were going to kidnap. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all double crosses all the way down. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, spawn another one of these red ones, would you? And um, so the nine and the seven. Nine of diamonds and the seven of uh, ornithopters. Hmm. So, like, maybe there was, it has backup. Oh, oh. So Maybe they're escaping to tell of our misdeeds. Mm. Right? Like, the guys you beat up got away. Or some other people that I failed to poison, because you can't poison them all, sadly, is That's the, true. Like, the one thing I found. No matter how many slow berries you slip into the, uh, <laughs> um, the soup. Uh, so, um, and then the nine of piratiness. Oh, maybe... We maybe we have to protect treasure? well we want the ship maybe we had to protect the ship but like the rest of our crew is just like no burn it to the ground Send oh they want to destroy it that's pretty yeah. piratey oh they're looting it they're looting our precious ship whereas we want it intact to we want it mostly bar. intact yeah mostly intact okay you gotta have the power supply the navigation and the uh um and then meanwhile the Alloys. seven of ornithopters is uh oh are we crashing there's some sort of disaster happening like what's a seven out of ten for flying ornithopters you're a stunt pilot you should be useful for this um there's a, a black hole storm or like a uh vo light vortex lightning one of them their vortexes yeah yeah some sort of um yeah yeah sky anomaly that is natural. <laughs> or like a beast i mean it could be like you know the alligator <laughs> sky alligators or... <laughs> the pirates are burning the ship and looting it and now there's a sky gator sky eel sky eel yeah sky right. amoeba Ooh. 
I don't know if we win. I feel like we no, lose. No, no. <laughs> no, it's gonna have to do with the name of our bar. It's gonna have to be named after this fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hey. like a squid, a sky squid, maybe. Sky squid. Right. It's like twenty thousand leagues above the sea. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Okay. So, um, yeah, a sky eel approacheth, sky eel cometh, and uh, it is totally in league with this. Uh, get that ugly color out of here. <laughs> um, it's totally in league with a sky eel. No. Yes. <laughs> and uh, that's that's what we're working with this chapter. So this chapter is deal with the sky eel. Chapter two goal. Deal with eel. Oh my god, mom's gonna love this. Oh my god. Okay, so then scene one goal. Draw two cards, would you? Sky eel. And what was the. Oh, looting. So. The looting of. Then oh the scene setup. Remember, so then chapters, these circumstances apply for all the scenes. So if you think about it like this, it's like it was these two cards plus these two cards plus these two were influencing our actions like story goal first chapter scene one now it's going to be story goal chapter two we're past these cards now we're on to chapter two and chapter two scene which is oh oh oh, oh that's the change deck darn wrong oh cards. dang that's All gonna right. be great Where's Wait, the why do you always grab that is deck right here? my bad yeah. my bad i liked it uh -huh. okay here we are <laughs> weeks uh so this scene is then and you can throw cards out if you if you're like you know i wanted something more exciting did that one like do weird stuff that's fine okay um well if they're not exciting if we can't come up with anything we'll toss them okay so sky eel attacks and it looks like diamonds are pirates so like mm -hmm. the least important piratey thing ever is going to be part of our scene goal and then a six is like it's a six out of ten for pirates. Uh, I don't know. Treasure. First mate. First mate. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure there. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. No, no. I think like, what do pirates want? They want booze and treasure, right? Yeah. Um. So the sky eel is frying the beer. It's <laughs> oh like no! Our, it's oh brewing God. our beer. Oh, we're oh. our bar is gonna be called the Sky Eel or something, and yeah. it's we're gonna have this ale brewed by it because it's gonna be our friend. Nice. We're going to befriend the Sky Eel, and tame it, and it's gonna help us make unique alcohol and defend us from the king's wrath. Booyah, booyah! All right, eel beer it is. Uh, oh, eel beer. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, so we're taming the Sky Eel all of a sudden. Oh, right. Oh, oh, least important piratey thing. Um, perhaps <laughs> that pirates have no fear of eels. <laughs> uh -huh. No, um, pirates are all drunk. And That's true. That's like a default state. Yeah, we just media. won. So our whole crew, are there more pirates than us? Uh, I think we're the only ones in on this operation. Oh, okay. So this was like a stealth mission with like five. Uh, so okay, I don't even need other people. It was just I stabbed the other two assassins. They were <laughs> they were bad people. They were bad. Uh, I poisoned. I mean, they fell off board. <clears throat> yeah, they didn't make the of jump. Course. They didn't make yeah, the yeah. jump. They were a little slow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So we yeah. got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad uh, jokes aside. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's time for my action. Um, so let's take this guy and take a look. Okay, so the five, five. of change. There are any fives? There's no fives. No fives to be twisted. Okay, great. Um, that's fine. And of course, you can use these cards if you need a little more help. You could use it for like the passage of time or the emotional impact. I don't know. It might be a good one. Um, I would say like, okay, I don't know. Like maybe I was ecstatic about that jump. Like it was the best thing ever. Um, <laughs> But they're kind of like placeholders in your mind for what actually happened. So it can help to associate the memory of what you said you did to this card. Oh, so my action. Oh, so maybe my action is a five. Oh, it only changes about about five-ish. And yours five was like yeah. involve the engineer because, yeah. Ace. 
Um, let's see. Oh, well, I, I am saving you from the engineer mm -hmm. lady who definitely no, no, just um, <laughs> overcame you because I heard you were bad in a fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, that's the cartographer, sir. The cartographer is actually, is it... remember, she turned on the king. She's like a secret agent. She totally what? whacked you in the back. No, no, she, she was the queen. Oh, that's the engineer. Oh, right, right. Oh, Wait, so the cartographer, the... yeah, not the same as the engineer. The we cartographer even... ambushes you guys and catches you unaware. Oh, that's fair. And I <clears throat> come in and attempt to paralyze her. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to roll my dice. Remember, the backdrop for this entire thing is drunk, looting pirates and a sky eel. Yeah, and, a, and all the sky eel they can handle. Okay, so... Yeah. Here are my results, but see, I'm I used my slow berries, so I get a reroll. And this one, I'm definitely gonna reroll. I just kind of imagine since yeah. you can't like actually paralyze the cartographer because this is an action scene, you just kind of like throw them in his face. Yeah, yeah, I actually sneak up behind him. I think so. Let's look at my challenge cards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a look. Um, Oh. Oh, 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 schnapps. Son. Let's review the, let's see, Jack. Challenge with Jack, have the lowest single result. And Ace, have the highest the single highest. result. Okay, so Dude. that might work out. Who knows? Uh, I think, no, it definitely has the lowest. So for me, I have oh, a 7, it. 3 plus 4. I have 3 plus 3, a 6, and a 9. So I actually, w I succeed... I tie, and I succeed. succeed. But the and then I have the highest result, which is nine. Six plus three is a nine. So out of the six things we're looking at, nine is the highest. So I take the ace, and uh, but the lowest result definitely has to be that three up there. So then mm. I get a critical failure, even though I rocked it. Uh, well, you know, I could have. Oh, yeah, and if I get three successes, I'll get another critical success. So I'll get two critical successes. Great example. And I'll get one failure. So if I get two, right, and we're, like, the same level, I can give one to me, and then the next one has to go to him. Um, but that means yeah. we both level up, and the next time he can make me level up. It's great. Yeah, but what happens with a critical failure? So with a critical failure, then the top card of the challenge deck goes over here, and this is a, I don't know if I told you about this rule. You Not yet. flip it face up. and Or actually, I think you can keep it face down. <clears throat> and it is an inverted, I'm thinking of these as like your harms. Um, basically, um, you, can, you can flip it face up or hide it. It's up to you. So I'll, I'll show mine. This is, no, maybe I will do it this way. This is my, um, I don't know how to say it, like inspiration, uh, or it's your mental state. And for every card you have, you just count the numbers. So right, right now I have one. If I'd taken two critical failures, maybe I could have two. Um, and whenever I roll, I can re-roll results that are equal to the number I have here or less. So if I rolled a two, Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> it's torture. <laughs> it's torture. Okay, so if I rolled uh -huh. a two and I had two inspiration, then I could re-roll that two for free once. Oh, no, you just can't get that result. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so it's, that's a, max, a minimum value. Yeah, so that's good. But there's a... If one of these gets inverted, they all get inverted, and you're wounded instead. So if an eight came out up here, do we? Have, there might be an eight. No. Um, no. <laughs> he's stopping me. Anyway, so like when the ten came out, if I had this inspiration already, it would turn sideways, and so would the eight. Instead of being inspired, I'm wounded. And when you're wounded, you roll extra dice, and you can add them wherever you want. Like, if you roll an extra die and it was a three, you could add it to either the cent center, left, or right dice. Um, so you just have really high stats, um, but uh, you can't level up. And if you manage to get three, um, three wound cards, 
then you turn into a boss. <laughs> That's not going to happen in this story, I don't think, but uh, I can explain it in another session. I just don't want to take too long. Anyway, you become a boss, and then it's your job to try and stop the story from finishing. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so. Um, I rocked it. I get one wound card. Um, oops. And uh, from the critical failure. Or you can use a critical success to cancel out a critical failure. But in this case, it's good to take the wound, I think. Um, and then for the two successes, because now we get to each level up. So let's level up. Um, wow. I'm going to increase one of my stats. Yeah, I got to up my bartender game. Yeah, that was pretty weak sauce. Um, <clears throat> oh, oh, I didn't even say what I did. Yeah, what'd you do? Oh, I obviously took out the cartographer. Jeweled as hard as I could. Okay, so. <clears throat> Who was on the ship already because he's a traitor and a cur. Yeah, so Sneaky, um, I snuck up behind him while he had you guys in his grips. Um, and he was so unsuspecting that I actually just popped a handful of slowberries into his mouth. Uh, and the paralyzing effect was so intense that um, we sat there and couldn't tell if it worked for like a good two minutes because I just held my hand over his mouth and was like, mm. but then he couldn't move because it was like instantaneously super paralyzing. Um, so then, and also bejeweled, so then six of bejewelry, um, <laughs> I simply must have, uh, the shiniest thing. I guess I was the shiniest thing the pirate had. Oh, I take his awesome hat because he definitely had like a jeweled hat that I'd been super jealous of the whole time because he's like a rich cartographer. Oh, and a jeweled pin. Mean? And um, I like take all of that and it's now mine and I have the fanciest hat that I can cannot wear on any more missions, but I'm retiring, right? So it's cool. Yeah, yeah, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, the paralyzing. Oh, wait, no, the paralyzing was a Oh, a, tr a tie, so it almost didn't work. Oh, yeah, we couldn't tell if it worked or not. Yeah, yeah, that, that counts. Okay, so then the wound stays with you. Um, and... Um, and... Or the inspiration. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And... Um, or maybe wound, if an 8 comes out of the change deck. And if you can never put out three numbers... And you always have to draw more cards to replace the Jack, Queen, King, or Ace. If you can never get three numbers out, the story over and ends in failure. Like, whatever you intended to do, just the time ran out, or it's not possible anymore, or you gave up. Like, it's a tragedy if that happens. So you can't take too many cards, even if they do boost your stats. Um, if you take too many cards for yourself, you may become the boss who tries to take more cards until everyone loses. Um but uh it's no good so so for the general story health for the happy ending never have too many cards taken out of this deck and of course that last rule is you need to have three numbers for someone to compare to when they take their action if you don't have those numbers then it's game over all right okay it is uh high thumper it's high thumper's turn high thumper turn high thumper away is okay. that the change deck? Yeah, it's the gonna change deck. It. Far away from you. Uh oh. Okay, so it's oh, your no. job. Now we gotta. This is it. We gotta wrap it up. Achieve story yeah, yeah. goal by the end of this action. So I, I think I did my part. Yeah, yeah. Oh Save yeah. Wait. Oh, I, I rolled doubles. So then this would. I would move one of these three. Uh -huh. And let's see. What was the nine again? The nine uh, looting. Looting of the priceless bobble. Oh, the pirates are. No, I want the sky up. eel. One, two, three. Oh, and then the Sky Eel and I are now associated. So uh, I think um, the Sky Eel um, is really attracted to my hat and <laughs> is totally befriended um, or enamored of it. It's looking. Now you have to convince it we're friendly. I got its attention with my gaudy hat. All right. 
So you saved us, but you land had this dangerous creature land upon your it's new. It's true, but fresh remember, hat. the whole chapter goal is actually to in, to make eel beer a permanent thing for us. So it, it's okay. Do you have a large cloak? I yes, I glided in on one. Oh, there. that's true. Take it. Nice. Oh, cool. I think I All right. I leveled. Oh, you leveled up too. I did. I did. My bartending went up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Okay, so to recap. I have to convince this eel we're friendly and to join with us, stop the looting of the priceless bauble, and somehow maintain the priceless bauble as a bar a sky bar. Cartog, no. <laughs> sky bar. We'll just go with sky bar. Which is almost what I called this entire adventure from the very beginning. Okay. All right. Oh, I totally so. missed that. Anyway, uh, go for it. Uh, you want, yeah, roll your dice. Uh, that was way too realistic. It's weird. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, no. Okay, wait. I get one reroll. Because you're uh, using your stick. My, my <laughs> stick. <laughs> Damn stick. Oh, you can wait till <laughs> after you know what your challenge... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay, for so it. put those in order of your abilities. Oh, the Fun. ace strikes again. Got the ace again. Just what you were hoping for, right? Yeah, I know, right? Okay, wait, I don't need to re-roll that one. See, uh, this is why it's important. Okay, so, um, it looks like you got a 3 plus 5 is 8 for got handling. Eight. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, I got a, a 5 for bartending, 2 plus 3, so I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. And I can figure out why my stick is so good about that. Oh, no, wait. That was hey. definitely not a re oh! <laughs> oh, oh, let me just oh, help definite. you out there. Oh, <laughs> bartending the worst. Okay, and then here. <laughs> and I got a... Got a five, five for MacGyver. All right, success. And then and so I, my single also, result is your A, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> you are the – I just – I can't believe I signed on with an incompetent bartender. I have a slow berry <laughs> while we work out the business plan. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> All right. So um, I am handling uh, Remember the Sky ship. Eel. Sky Eel, yeah. Let's, let's do Sky or, Eel first. So – yeah. <laughs> at this first... winds up at we found a pirate bar with a sky eel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's great. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Um, so I uh MacGyver successfully uh um by taking your hat slowly with the eel perched on it. And Whoa, I kinda how big like is this thing. I was imagining it was like Titanic. Oh, 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 okay. I was imagining something that might actually fit in a fit with a no no no, no titanic okay yeah i take I mean, it could, the hat I mean, either you know and i start waving it at all the looting pirates and the eel just like follows it like a cat and like makes <laughs> yes. a couple like passes at it um and then all the other pirates are just like oh god what's going on and they start like fleeing the ship and so that's how we're resolving the looting is uh we we have uh utilized the eel oh i see i see use it to scare them all off <clears throat> absolutely While, like probably hypnotizing it or something something like that, that could and be then your critical success that like yeah and so then i um i uh i like put the hat on the stick and like start spinning it as like uh in, in <laughs> Yes, okay, to go on. <laughs> but it flies off the stick. No, my hat. <laughs> my hat. That, this is and then I invent the name of our first drink. The sticky hat. Sticky hat, yes. <laughs> and it's served um, an upside down hat looking glass. Yeah, and I think that's like a terrible like idea because I failed yeah, my bar sticky thing. hat. It's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm kidding. <laughs> Gross. Uh, gross kit. Uh, yeah, but the um, but the eel uh like flies after it and catches it, of course. And I'm just like, yeah, great. And I then I toss the stick accidentally, <laughs> and I was like, no, my bartending stick. <laughs> 
what am and I that's gonna the failure. stir? I lose Literally the every customer's with the same stick without washing it. Just <laughs> you know, that's where the sticky hat comes from. <laughs> it's okay. a, oh, it's so a hat that's... glass with a stick served in it as the straw. <laughs> a cinnamon Excellent. stick. Ah, see, here we go. Uh, and so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lose that stick because yeah. that's what happens. Hey, what happened to this title of here? Legend of the Sky Eel. I know it kind of went really tiny. Small. I'm not sure why. I, I put it up there to save space but um yeah it's, it's, it's fine it's fine oh you changed it i see nice yeah <laughs> um uh okay and then like i uh to to like throw the re like get away from the pirate ship that we kind of came over on and uh, just like <laughs> saying hey we're taking this bye <laughs> um i am handling this giant monstrosity like a boss all right. With oh, a okay. sky eel. So you're for, like uh, you're holding support. the tiller and you're like waving this sky <laughs> eel attracting <laughs> hat on a stick and you're like yippee ki yay <laughs> and you're like yeah, yeah. throw it out and then the stick goes with it and you're like no my bar <laughs> no, <laughs> big stick. Yeah, well, you're fine. The eel brings your hat back, so <laughs> yes. that's fine. And then oh your your stick is in the uh hat. It's like uh you know no no, no 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 that stick is gone oh the stick is gone okay stick See, is gone. i i i that's absolutely gone because that's that's my failure i failed my bartending stick oh and, yeah and there's no worse failure than that. no worse failure than normally that. you wouldn't no. lose an item just because but uh, if you want you can trade that's it great. for a level up you could say i've moved beyond you've transcended <laughs> bartending <laughs> sticks so go ahead and take it <laughs> You just I'll just level up my bartending. It's fine. Yeah, don't like, raise ah, your level. I don't need the stick. I, yes, that's right. That's what we're telling you. Every one of your drinks was terrible because you always <laughs> use the same stick to mix and serve and stir every drink you've ever made. And we're like, Epiphany. you need to put down the stick. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Good. Sweet. Anyway. Also, you rolled doubles. Great. It looks like unless you. Should. Oh, I did roll doubles. It's <clears throat> eventually. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, and so what I managed level to, are like, you? uh, nine, you should be, but you're about to be 10 10? no, I leveled up and then you leveled me up. What's your count? So you're at eight. Well, you level, so you traded one of those levels, right? It, that's, that's true. You I got three, something three. That was worth a level. That's true. So you get a point back. So you've, yeah. you've got, like, yeah, I did. I did. I points. did. Whoa. No, 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 no. I traded my point back. Eight, 11. Oh, wait. I've only got 11 points, and I'm level See, 9. See, I, I, I don't think we confirmed whether the initial three points count towards the initial oh, stat distribution. Oh, I see. Someone's and been riding dirty with three extra points. Listen, I still <laughs> failed more than you. That's true. Okay. All right. We'll just say you were just... You were, can't say it, Kit. <laughs> you can't say <laughs> Hi, Thumper. I just... Okay. Even though I'm a pirate assassin, you're just better. Uh, I, can't, I can't do it. Uh, Don't yeah anyway retirement so, uh, really yeah. improved your skills yeah, is what yeah. i'm gonna say <laughs> yeah uh and so uh i rocket this ship out of there with uh supercharged from the eel we oh, may have nice. accidentally kidnapped an engineer but it's fine okay and then you get to shift a uh oh obviously uh you rolled double one so you can move one of them one uh oh, yeah. you Sweet. and the sky eel are now best of buds that does make sense. I don't want the drunk pirates to be associated yeah. with you. Yeah, I I really wouldn't. But they're also a little flashy. Actually, it was problematic. It's hard to assassinate <laughs> things that they legendary Actually, sized. I would like to say that the alternative is the drunk pirates come to our bar, but we'll get to that later. Oh, okay, okay. That would that would have been like the detail I would have used to do uh, like justify this, but I like this better. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and so I aced it, and so I got a critical success. So since you're lower level, you go ahead and level up. Oh, thanks, thanks. Okay, so um, I will, uh, I, don't, I think I'll just, for sake of speed, level up my... Okay, so when you steal my hat, you find out that underneath it, even though it wasn't really that good of a hat, and it wasn't your hat. It, I had stolen with. like the crown jewel. Um, oh no! Yeah, yeah. What I have before that tiara. Yeah, no. This one's like a pure adamantium, like paralyzing needle hairpin. 
Whoa, snaggy. Yeah, snaggy. and uh, it's like one of the, the crown jewels. Oh, it's maybe it's like... Yeah, it's basically like a really upgraded version of your stick. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to hear another critique of my bartending stick ever again if you have your paralyzing yeah. stick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, there was a sick jewel underneath, and I got better at stealing jewels because of it. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, thanks. Okay. I wasn't... You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, needless to say, this game is open to very wide interpretation. Yeah, and so I think we that was a success. That was it, right? Yep, we have our we have our bar in the sky. It's the uh, the sky eel. We have a sky eel, in fact. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, pet sky eel. That's a big win. Um, oh, yeah, this yeah. king doesn't dare attack us because of our sky eel, and of course our um, our drink. Uh, you invent. Invented the sticky sticky, hat. <laughs> sticky, sticky hat. hat. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Um nothing says <laughs> success quite like. And what did what did I do? I um uh paraly it got rid of the uh cartographer. Oh, yeah. We could probably offer him up to the king for for like a apology. Since and, he was a traitor and a scoundrel. Uh, captivated eel. Yeah, let's add more description. Invent a sticky hat by <laughs> sticky throwing hat. away stick and eel. <laughs> stick and hat. Eel attracting hat. Excellent. Only to have hat retrieved. <laughs> but no stick, sadly. And it transcends. <laughs> the the gross stick, stick <laughs> bartending style. Uh, excellent. Good, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, and what happened over here? I forget. Okay, the tin. Oh, I skydived. Skydove onto priceless bobble um, naval ship and paralyzed most of the crew and then what did you do took control yeah yeah that's pretty good <clears throat> yeah that's a short sweet all right and then uh yeah yeah that was great and so what are these connections just so, so we know these black ones up here so it's the oh the, the twisted... king knew it was a trap yeah and sent us to get brutalized now past past events may contradict what we're saying right now but don't worry about it yeah, yeah, it's all what happens in the end, and here it's, or it all changes, just think of it as moving forward instead of, it wasn't one fact, it's, it's, it was always that, and it always will be, but now it's something new. Retcon, the game. Yeah. No, no, it's like it moves forward, it's like a king changes yeah. his mind. Procon, the game. Yeah. What happens, the time is passing, that's what it really is, the change deck is time passing. True. Okay, so then that was, uh, oh yeah, you are... Sky Eels Master. But we're buds. Oh, I meant you are Sky Eels Sky Bro. Sky Bro! Excellent. <clears throat> okay, so there you have it. That is a very short game, uh, complete with uh, most of the rules. There's a couple more rules about having items and abilities, like my slow berries um that i didn't want to get into because it wasn't we weren't going to level up that much so it wasn't going to be that long nah. and maybe, maybe um, chapter two yeah and then yeah there's you know what successes and failures are and explaining all that and what wounds could be um and these I mean, i'm still working on that but that's that's pretty much the basics the full shebang and here you see kind of like what happened and you can kind of if, if you take simple notes like it's a trap and then <laughs> the king knew it was a trap um, it was actually we could we could reconstruct we could retell the story from this at any time so then you could just take a picture with your phone of like your your splay and yeah, you can I use that to make a story saving this as we speak yeah oh did you record too no 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 I'm I'm saving this actual particular setup oh oh very nice it's gonna be a picture but interactable as it were oh, if we want to ever revisit but that I know. is cute. Yeah, so um sentimentality. That's
that's that's the game. That's uh, that's raw badass skill, or maybe sojourn, or maybe you know I have a hard time naming it. I like novel. sojourn. Novel was one, but that's so generic. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it can. I I have some ideas about like mutators, like extra rules, and there's a lot of ways to tweak it so the story's like harder, easier, or harder to predict. Um, but um, you can basically tell any story in any genre, um, any story you want with people without any preparation so um i think it's uh i think it's super cool uh and i'm glad to actually finally record a demo ever yeah um, we have to show it to mom i mean how long were we on here i don't know a couple hours Nine thirty. was that three hours not not two two it was two hours we started at 7 20 ish oh okay great so that was the exact oh we wanted to spend two hours working on games and yeah. we managed to play a whole little short story of, like, two scenes long. So, you know, with, no, no big With explanation. Right? Wow. And if you're taking more actions or you had more scenes, like, the longer a story you're going to tell, the more, um, uh, the, the smaller each action could be. Like, instead of, like, like, when I got a success for sneaking, it was, like, a whole sneak. The entire. Yeah, it was, like, yeah. an hour of sneaking or something, you know? And, like, that was just one die. It could be that you, like, just need to pick a lock and you have three seconds and it's, like, zoomed in on you because you're hovering off the floor, suspended from the ceilings and the, you know, we've all seen um, whatever that movie is. The granularities in you. Tom Cruise. Uh, uh, anyway. What? Yeah, anyway, um, if you're taking a lot more Can actions, then take it a lot slower. Mission Impossible. That's what it was. Oh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and... Uh, I think that'll be it for this recording. Hi, Mom. I mean, <laughs> bye, Mom. Oh, yeah. I love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. Bye. <laughs>